China is making waves in the AI and robotics world yet again, and this time, it's a brand new player on the field. Lumos Robotics, a startup that's just four months old, has unveiled its humanoid robot, LUS-1. While the name might not sound threatening at first, the truth about what this robot, and others like it, represents is anything but ordinary. Lumos Robotics has made remarkable strides in an incredibly short time, and the unveiling of LUS-1 marks yet another chapter in China's aggressive pursuit of global robotics dominance. Welcome back guys, Alfie here with another mind-blowing update from the world of AI and robotics. This isn't your average humanoid. LUS-1 is equipped with advanced capabilities, most notably its ability to navigate challenging environments, recover from falls, and stand back up. To prove they're serious about competing in this rapidly growing market, Lumos released footage of LUS-1 undergoing rigorous stress tests. Think robots being shoved, stumbling, and even face-planting into obstacles, only to recover and continue moving as though nothing happened. It's the kind of visual that's designed to grab attention. And it has. Now why does this matter? China's humanoid robotics race isn't just about creating cool technology. It's about establishing dominance in AI, reshaping industries, and potentially shifting global power dynamics. With Lumos Robotics joining a rapidly growing list of Chinese robotics companies, we need to ask some critical questions. What is the end game for this humanoid robot army? What does this mean for the rest of the world? And should we be concerned about where this is all headed? Let's start by looking at the broader picture. China has been pouring billions into AI and robotics over the past decade. The country has made no secret of its ambition to lead the world in these technologies, and it's rapidly closing the gap with global competitors. While Western companies like Boston Dynamics and Tesla's Optimus Project tend to focus on humanoids for specific tasks, such as warehouse logistics or household chores, China's approach is more multifaceted. The emphasis isn't just on functionality, but on creating robots that can operate in dynamic, unpredictable environments. Environments where human-like agility, balance, and resilience are critical. The unveiling of LUS-1 is part of this broader trend. While companies like Unitree Robotics and Xiaomi have already made headlines with their advanced humanoids, Lumos is taking things a step further by proving its robots can handle physical challenges and bounce back. Why is this significant? Because it's a step toward creating robots that are not just tools, but autonomous entities capable of operating independently in complex scenarios. Let's not forget that China's robotics push isn't happening in isolation. It's part of a larger strategy to dominate emerging technologies, from AI to quantum computing. Robots like LUS-1 are just the tip of the iceberg. Behind the scenes, Chinese companies are racing to develop the infrastructure, software, and hardware needed to support these advancements. And while it's easy to focus on the technological marvels themselves, the real story lies in what they represent. A shift in global power dynamics. Think about it. The ability to develop and deploy advanced humanoid robots has implications far beyond the factory floor. These robots could be used in disaster response, healthcare, or even military operations. Imagine a scenario where robots like LUS-1 are deployed in search and rescue missions, navigating rubble and hazardous environments to save lives. Now imagine those same robots being used in conflict zones, performing reconnaissance, or even engaging in combat. The line between helpful technology and potential weaponization is razor thin, and it's a line that China appears willing to walk. So what makes LUS-1 special compared to other humanoids? For starters, its ability to recover from falls is a big deal. Falling is one of the biggest challenges in humanoid robotics because it involves complex calculations and quick responses to maintain balance. The fact that LUS-1 can fall and get back up autonomously shows that Lumos Robotics is prioritizing resilience, a trait that's essential for robots operating in real-world conditions. But LUS-1 isn't just about balance and recovery. Lumos has hinted at plans to equip the robot with advanced sensory and AI systems, allowing it to navigate environments with human-like perception. This includes identifying obstacles, understanding spatial relationships, and making decisions in real time. In other words, 
LUS-1 is being designed to think and act more like a human, which is both exciting and a little unsettling when you consider the potential applications. Of course, Lumos Robotics isn't the only player in this space. Unitree Robotics has already made headlines with its G1 humanoid, which is known for its agility and speed. Xiaomi is also making moves in the robotics market, leveraging its expertise in AI and hardware to develop advanced humanoids. What sets Lumos apart is its focus on resilience and adaptability, traits that are becoming increasingly important as robots move from controlled environments into the real world. Now let's address the elephant in the room. Why is China so obsessed with humanoid robots? The answer lies in the country's broader vision for AI and robotics. Unlike the West, where robotics development is often driven by market demand, China views robotics as a strategic priority. The government has identified AI and robotics as critical technologies for national security, economic growth, and global influence. By developing humanoid robots that can operate autonomously in a variety of settings, China is positioning itself as a leader in the technologies that will shape the future. But with great power comes great responsibility. Or at least, it should. The rapid development of humanoid robots raises a host of ethical questions. For example, how do we ensure these robots are used for good and not for harm? What safeguards are in place to prevent misuse? And how do we address the societal impacts of widespread automation, from job displacement to privacy concerns? These are questions that need answers, and they need them soon. At the same time, we can't ignore the potential benefits of robots like LUS-1. Imagine a future where humanoid robots are integrated into everyday life, assisting with tasks that are too dangerous, repetitive, or physically demanding for humans. From construction sites to elder care facilities, the possibilities are endless. But for this vision to become a reality, we need to strike a balance between innovation and regulation. A balance that's proving increasingly difficult to achieve as the pace of technological advancement accelerates. So, where does this leave us? The unveiling of LUS-1 is both a technological milestone and a wake-up call. It's a reminder that the robotics race is heating up, and China is pulling out all the stops to ensure it comes out on top. Whether this is a good thing or a bad thing depends on your perspective. On the one hand, the rapid advancement of robotics has the potential to solve some of humanity's biggest challenges. On the other, it raises questions about ethics, security, and the balance of power in a world increasingly shaped by technology. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. Robots like LUS-1 are just the beginning. The real question is not whether these robots will become a part of our lives, but how. Will they be tools for progress, or will they become symbols of a new kind of arms race? Only time will tell. For now, all eyes are on Lumos Robotics and their latest creation. The terrifying truth about China's AI robot army isn't just about what these robots can do today. It's about what they represent for tomorrow. And as the race to develop the next generation of humanoid robots continues, one thing is certain, the future is coming and it's coming fast. Are we ready? Let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.